Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is coming to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. How super exciting is that? Get all of the Spidey details on IGN, plus our thoughts on the deal between Sony and Marvel. Now before we fix it up, just a quick reminder that we have another awesome Monster Hunter giveaway today. This time for a sweet statue. But first, the news. It's happening! Bethesda, known for creating the Elder Scrolls series, is hosting its first ever E3 conference, June 14th in Los Angeles. Details are sparse at the moment, but everyone is speculating that we might see Fallout 4, Dishonored 2, and or the new Doom. That would be pretty darn amazing. Looks like the hype train for E3 has officially left the station, and we're still four months away. Remember when we talked about a content update beta for Halo the Master Chief Collection? which was sort of weird to begin with. Well, 343 Industries had decided to scrap those plans. After further evaluation, the team has determined that the final testing for the content update will be completed internally, said Halo community manager Andy Bravo Dodinsky. Also, it was determined that the additional time and work devoted to the beta would have actually postponed the public availability of the content update. We still don't know when the update will drop, but we'll keep you posted here on IGN. And fingers crossed, this fix works. EA and BioWare Shadow Realms has officially been cancelled. The team behind the 4 vs 1 action RPG, BioWare Austin, will instead work on enhancements for Dragon Age Inquisition, the next Mass Effect game, and other new IP. The developer's biggest focus though, Star Wars The Old Republic. As every Star Wars fan knows, this is a massive year in Star Wars universe, said BioWare Austin General Manager Jeff Hickman. We have some great plans for expanding this epic game this year. So it's a bummer about Shadow Realms, but it sounds like Bioware Austin is working on other cool stuff. I can deal with that. Did Nintendo solemnly swear that it was up to no good in the late 1990s? Apparently so, as a report from Unseen64 says Big N tried to secure exclusive rights to the Harry Potter series. At the time, Nintendo NST reportedly stopped development on Ridge Racer 64, Bionic Commando, and Crystalis to prototype Potter games on Nintendo 64, Game Boy Advance, and GameCube. But alas, J.K. Rowling turned down Nintendo in favor of Warner Brothers. What could have been? And if you caught yesterday's fix, you know that we have a special Monster Hunter giveaways all this week. Today we're giving away a Spiffy Tigeric statue. Aw, so adorable. All you have to do is tell us what your favorite Monster Hunter weapon is. Or if you haven't played a Monster Hunter game yet, tell us what weapon you'd like to use. Fill out the form at the link below and leave your answer in the comment section. Finally, there are still tickets for our free Nintendo Voice Chat live event in San Francisco this February 26th. Check out the link for more details. And that's your daily fix for February 10th. I'm Alexis Kazambolidis, and remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN. Bye!